morning guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video we've got a very exciting video today we are just one second <laughs> hello pardon how are you i'm good how are you feeling Shit, yeah, it's not good, is it? Sorry about that. I've got a load of poorly Susans on my hand, haven't I? Mum and Dad have both got COVID. My brother's just recovered from COVID. Barney, we were in the emergency vets last night because he's got something wrong with his throat and I'm just praying and hoping, fingers crossed, that he doesn't need to have it properly looked at and therefore go under. Um, they think that he's just um, hurt his jaw though because his teeth are fine and when he opens his mouth that's when it hurts him so they think that if he's been like fetching sticks in the water which he was um that it's some at some point on a walk he's caught his jaw or he's caught his mouth somehow because there's no injury so it's just we're hoping that it's not something lodged down his throat, which to be fair, she had a good look and she said it, it's the, the physical opening of the jaw. Anyway, I just got a lot on my hands at the moment, but um, yeah, exciting vlog today. I am off and out to London this morning for the day. I say this morning, we're actually not going till about 10 o'clock our train, which is quite nice, me and Lydia. We're traveling from Manchester down to London and we're gonna spend a few hours there back this evening. So Tom's gonna look after Paulie, Susan, Barney. And um, to be fair, I say Paulie, he's absolutely fine. It's just, we just hope that hope that it's a quick one or two day recovery type thing and he'll be fine. Anyway, I've done my makeup for the day, got showered. I still need to like style my hair and get dressed, try and decide what I'm gonna wear because I haven't even decided yet. So I'm running a bit last minute this morning. But I wanted to jump on and thank today's video sponsor, Ritual, which you may have heard me talk about Ritual before actually. This is my second container. It's the Essential for Women Multivitamin for 18 plus that I have been taking for quite a while now, to be honest with you. See that little tab there as well? I've never seen any other company do this. It's a mint tab, so when you open it, oh, it smells so fresh and amazing. Anyway, I've also stocked up on a spare backup for when this runs out, and I've got this to try as well, which is the Symbiotic Plus. It's a daily three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic, which who knew that was even a thing? It's designed to support your gut, your digestive system, and your overall uh, immunity health. And just like the rest of Ritual's products, this one too boasts a clean formula. It's got, um, it's vegan friendly. It has no GMOs, major allergens, animal products, or artificial colors. It's not even focusing. I just want to see. Uh, or show you rather that this one too has the minty tab there's a subscription option where you can get them delivered straight to your door with free shipping as well and what's more if you use the link which i'll leave in my description box and my discount code you will get 20 percent off your first month of ritual so i'm going to take this now then get finish getting ready and then get on the road ahead of an exciting day in london Seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. We're in crew. <laughs> we're stranded. It's oh. Well, in fact, I shouldn't laugh really, but no, it's, it's just strikes and everything going on, and then there's that's Actually, been a bit of the strike. No. So our strike, our, our initial train got cancelled going in and then this second train has basically just said get off at crew because there's no trains going into London at all. Everyone's a bit manic. We're just going to probably jump back on a train to Manchester. Walking. Yeah, I think right. we're just... I was I said to Lydia, if I was going home, I think I'd be more stressed. But the fact that we are close to Manchester still, yeah, we're not. We're just gonna go back home and rearrange rearrange a London trip. Yeah, I think. So anyway, let's go for a, a little spending well, spree. I'm glad in Manchester. I'm not away. I know, I know. It's very busy. We've touched down in Manchester finally. Okay. I think happy? we've literally yeah. been spending the last few hours just on a train. 
So long and short that. of it, yeah, unfortunately due to train cancellations and everything, we got stuck in crew, got on a different train back to Manchester. We'll rearrange London another time. We're gonna hit the shops instead. What's the tapas place we're gonna try? Taste. Taste or taste. We're arguing whether or not it's taste or taste. T-A-S-T. -A Let them introduce, welcome to. Who would taste. that when you arrive at a restaurant though? Hello hey, and welcome you? to Taste. Taste. Well anyway, we're gonna go for some tapas. No, Are the shops even open? open? What's it? Yeah. Oh, the Primark. There's Primark shutters. I was like, no, oh. the doors are open. Oh, well, anyway, right, so we're going to. We've lost all sense of time. Shops via Tast or Taste, yeah. whatever it is. H&M or Mango, wherever. Yeah. And then. Just a little pop in. You know, everyone's getting autumn stuff now. I know. I saw you had a video. Too. Yeah. Well, that's that's like, more homeware. But even like, there's, there's you know pumpkins it's in there. there. Yeah, no. Well, just to let you know. By the time this video is going, my mind. August. <laughs> no, the one you put on last night or whatever. Yeah, the one that I put on last night, July. Yeah. It's autumn. Yeah, autumn is here. Well, I got some hate for that. No, it's not here. It's not. <laughs> it is for me. I'll add to that it's here in the shops. It is here in the shops. I think it's, if I'm a shopping channel and I have to show people what's new what's in, ahead of the... and it does sell out quick, like especially home sense and places yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, they do. Anyway, we're gonna go fashion shopping today. I think mango, then H and M, one of the two. Let's go dust. and then dust, taste, dust, it. dust, taste. Ain't got nobody. I always feel so lonely when the day is through. I'm in the spotlight, not on to midnight. I want somebody to hold my hand. Cause I got my head in the clouds, but I'm getting really scared of heights. I used to spend time with all my friends, but who's gonna like me if I'm not there? Oh uh, yeah, no, it's like new but old, but well, no, it's wait, which one? This one, the turret. Oh, I thought you were talking about this one, like oh, just being no. so like well, yeah, that turret. boring. No, this is this not where? Look at me just vlogging. I'm not even said anything. Is that not where that restaurant is? That new Tom Courage? No, what's it called? Carriage? No. Oh, so. okay. no. Anyway, we're coming out empty handed. Yeah, it's Bull and Bear. Yeah. Oh, and that's the Stock Exchange Hotel. Yeah. Are you fancy the tapas? Uh, I'm feeling tapas okay. now. That, I, I feel like that's more, more evening trick. vibes. Yeah, and cozy and wholesome. Anyway, we're coming out empty handed. We didn't get anything from either of the shops. It's a lot of sales stuff at the minute, in between any kind of seasons. We always find yeah, it hard. Not much new stuff. Either. Hard to shop, don't we? Yeah. It's just an awkward time of the yeah, year because we've still got summer really weather want to buy. Like I always buy at the beginning of the season. So yeah, I'm kind of like new in. I'll just yeah. wear what I've oh, that's got. Tom's office. Yeah, he's not here. Aww. Well, no. he's working from home. Isn't he? Yeah, but Barney does go in there with him. Does he? Yeah, they, they just run free. You just let him roam free, and no one gets any work done. Oh, yeah. so we're gonna go have some nice tapas, which I said earlier. Which I'm feeling like now. Yeah, I feel like too. I'm ready a for it. Now. Half time, twelve. It? Yeah. So we were meant to be eating at one, weren't we? So. Yeah, true. We're really sad. We basically, we had a trip planned in with a PR company who were going to treat us to lunch at Harry's. Then we were going to go for an appointment with Joe Loves, which I've never tried Joe Loves before, so I was really excited to hey. discover it. You have, yeah, haven't you? I have recent really like it. Mango so and Thai lime. I think it would have been really nice. To what was it? Like a fragrance oh, tap and it? then Oh dear. You can still walk down there. Yeah. Don't want to I don't see. Know. Yeah. This might freak me out. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this is going to freak me out. Whenever. Yeah, me too. I don't like seeing anything yeah, to do with. Well, should we just go straight and down? Yeah. King Street is there, isn't it? So. Is it something on the floor? Yeah. Unless we just walk down this little bit okay. here and just not look. Okay. Oh no, no, too. 
Oh no. I'll be your Tim. Oh no, it's pretty I'll sad. be your Tim today. You can be my Tim. Let's just avoid it. We're not very good with um well I'm not very good no. with squeamish stuff. If I see something and I'm then traumatised by that image. To me, it's like, yeah, I always think, oh my God, what if it's someone I know? Or oh dear. imagine it, if, no, I don't think it is, but yeah. imagine if that oh, was if me that, that, that could be somebody Tim. or yeah, someone. Yeah. yeah, that's the immediate, like, how sick Oh no, I just it don't want to see the image. No, nor do I, no, no, me neither. But well, I hope they're okay. Oh, me too. Um, me too. Yeah, so on that note, we're going for food. Just, I feel like you get that with the city centre though, don't you? If you sit, come across something traumatising, most people and want then to see. Me and you oh go, no. oh god, panic. I don't and want also, to see. I just always think like, oh, imagine if Tim was just walking. He'd just gone for a walk. And, oh, and that oh. happened. Oh, Lydia. In fact, should we have any outfit pictures today? Or mm, no. no, not feeling <laughs> it. I'm trying to get our bearings. Uh, King Street Townhouse. I've never seen it from that side before. Okay, it's like the end. Is that new? No, it's the other entrance to. There's the normal entrance, so oh, it must that's, be. That's new. King Street Townhouse. It is. Jim and Spa. Oh, because they've got the pool nice. on the rooftop, haven't they? I feel like I wanted to say something before we sort of. No, no, no. Like when we were walking past Tom's office, I was going to say oh, something. Right now. Long gone. Oh, wow. Way past them. We got sidetracked Beach. by the. Uh, is it about food? The policeman. Oh, you were talking about the day. Oh yeah, that's it. And then, so Joe loves, and then we were gonna go for an appointment at the Cadogan Hotel with Elemental Herbology. Which is gonna be a nice little um, spa treatment. Never mind. We're gonna try and rearrange for August, I think. For now, let's go get some lunch. <laughs> Satisfying you while I keep bleeding I don't know why you act like you need no sense You wanna take a piece of my heart again I get it all, cause I just don't want you Something in your eyes, the way you stare me that I like I wanna let you go, but it's that time to know me tight Right, we had a lovely lunch. Nearly got soaking wet. Yeah, what was, was really your nice. Um The croquettes. Yes. Croquetta. I have to agree with you there. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're just, so we're actually going to go back to Lydia's. Hold on one second. Arm can't carry a bag as well. We're going to go back to Lydia's. So we thought we'd do a bit of a, I actually did a question box on Instagram the other day with send me your dilemmas, which I never got around to answering. So we might grab a coffee from Pollen. Near Lydia's, yeah, and just answer some dilemmas. Maybe quick fire. Yeah. Oh, it's sure like morning walk, isn't it? Yeah. Morning dog yeah. walk. Well, we tend to go more the opposite direction. Oh, do you? Yeah, it's quieter. Barney would be straight in that water. <laughs> it's so cute. It was never to be. No, it wasn't meant to be, that's what we keep saying. I think we're all good there. Lydia's just gone to get a jump on because she's cold as always. We've got a little sausage. A good little sausage. Hello. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> this is that vase that I got from that inspiration hole. So it's like a nice. terracotta aged. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, oh we're recording. Oh we're no, on. the lighting is terrible. Have I had uh, anything from Nest? Yeah. Well, no, I haven't had anything, but I know it. it smells so good. Yeah. Products are in my bathroom at the minute upstairs and they're really, really strong. I feel like so good. Neom is quite good. Neom, I've got a nice diffuser in this bathroom. Yeah, Rituals can be good. I don't think I've ever had a candle by Rituals. The re diffusers, I find them quite good. Um, 
white company candles more than the reed diffuse. Mm. The reed diffuse are actually quite weak. They just yeah, the candles nice. are quite strong though. Yeah. Right, okay. Some, another brand. Oh, Jo Malone. Jo Malone, standard. What about, have you burnt that one yet? Yeah. I have burnt it, it one. What? Special occasion thing? Yeah, because it's part of the furniture. Yeah. Well, yeah. But I don't like this. Aldi did a dupe of that did many they? moons ago, and I remember getting Big the white one. one. Yeah. And a black yes. one, actually. I had a smoky black one. It was mm. Asian. I wish they'd have Kept done doing that. Yeah, they probably get told off, don't they? Okay. Are we ready? Not right, quick so fire. Because oh, otherwise we'll ramble. Okay. How to, oh, in fact, we were talking about this earlier. How to balance eating well slash exercise whilst guilt-free cheats too. So that's the first dilemma. Oh. Like how, how, how do you sort of balance kind of staying in shape, I guess, being healthier, but also like guilt free. See, I'm very much guilt free when I eat treats, whereas I suppose you're more conscious. Guilty. That's what we were talking about. Yeah, I think, I think for me, I try and just be healthy as much as possible. Yeah. And then, because I always know when an occasion's coming up or a time so that I'm that not going to. Time think. stamp, yeah. Yeah, so then all the other time I'll just be as healthy as possible. Yeah. And also, I think not overdoing it when you are, like, not going crazy. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. Like, balance. Because you actually feel better having the tree and not denying yourself of yeah. it, but not, like, Bruce going Bob overboard. And... Is that what his name is? Oh, you don't know Matilda. Oh. That one that eats the cake. Oh. Eats the entire cake. Yeah, I Bruce. don't know. Balance, I guess. <laughs> and also, we do quite a lot of walking whilst, especially yeah, with the dog. Yeah, we do I a do lot of walking. Yeah, so I try and do ten thousand steps a day. Oh, fifteen. I'm yeah. trying fifteen now. on my phone. Yeah. You so say around say the house, do I don't count the steps. Yeah. Um, okay. You do do fifteen. We're <laughs> talking about dogs. My puppy is driving me crazy. Have I made the wrong decision? No. no. They get better. Yeah. yeah, that's what someone said, like, please tell me it gets better. I'm hoping it gets better for me. I keep telling Lydia it gets better. I feel like Barney's 18 months. Really? How old is he? Like six seven. months? Seven. Seven months. And he's half, been today, maybe? today, so he's tired, isn't he's he? He's sleepy. Um, he loves other dogs. I, I'll be honest, especially as I felt like I was more of single-handedly doing it, I did get to a point where I was a bit like, God, the, is this the right decision? This is a yeah, lot. It, yeah. It completely and changes also, your life yeah. when they're puppies. And it's not just that, but it's like, you do have to be more cautious and conscious of like when you Plans go out. and stuff. Planning, yeah. how tired are they gonna be? Yeah. It is more work. It yeah, like is. if we're going out and leaving him for a couple of hours, I'm gonna make, I've gotta make sure he's had a nice tired. walk and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So I would but say- you can get to the point where you can it. leave them for a few hours yeah. and they're absolutely fine. This is what Lydia was telling me the other day, and she's like, so long as they're health, they're, they're safe. safe, they're fine. Yeah. We're not leaving them all day, every day. I do feel like if you're sort of person that's committed to like a nine to five job Monday to it Friday, would, yeah, probably yeah, isn't the it. right time to be getting a dog. Because it's a lot. But if your puppy's they driving you crazy. It, he's like, he used yeah, to drive like hard. to the point where we couldn't, we couldn't work at all. Yeah, well, when you're watching it was them, you're watching a them. real struggle to get any work done at all. But yeah. now, like, after he's walking in the morning, he'll go to sleep in the morning. Yeah. He just they just chill out a bit and more, chill don't between, they? between playing. Yeah. And it becomes more like that than yeah. all playing and hyper and not being able to be left on their own. Yeah. And he's like seven and a half months now, so I feel like he's it's still not young. that yeah. long. Yeah, no, he's it's still not young. that long before they calm down a bit. The initial few, first few weeks, I probably found the hardest though when you can't even walk them. Mm. You know, pre-vaccinations. Oh yeah. As soon as you can start walking them, ease us slightly, I and mean, then as sure, soon as yeah, their baby kind. teeth have gone, ease us slightly because of all the yes. baby teeth. Oh, the teeth and the biting. And then again, when they reach that adolescent stage, yeah. and then you reach the point of maybe snip or no snip. Then completely it chills out. Yeah, so stick with it. Good You've work. not made the wrong decision. Um, a fashion shot. rut. Outside of my work wardrobe, I just wear the same type of outfit. How to step out of my comfort zone and try something new? You're the fashionista. I feel like everybody does this. So everybody is always in a rut. I have many videos on style ruts. But I think, I don't know, I think... You have motivation, right? You were saying... Yeah, motivation. Like sometimes right. definitely in a motivation. Get in a point where you're not as motivated, yeah. Yeah, I think you can easily get in a style rut. I think the thing to do is 
I don't think that's a bad thing. No, I, I don't. I was going to say that. I don't think it's a knowing what you like. Comfortable. But if you want to change it up a bit, I think I think the biggest and easiest thing to do is just go on Instagram or Pinterest. Yeah, Pinterest, save, save, save definitely. everything. And then what you need to do is find like the common denominator of all of those pictures. What is yeah. it about those pictures that you like? Because there will be a common theme, yeah. whether that's like a color theme, shapes, styles, Classic tailored yeah. style. Oh. Right, next dilemma. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, this is a bit of a juicy warm one. warm now. Oh no. So you're going to get warmer. It's not that juicy. Genuinely in love with two men at once. What to do? So I suppose early dating stages, if you're the type of person to date more than one guy at the same time. I personally, I don't think I'm no, sort of committed to one yeah, person. Yeah, I would be. But I suppose there's no harm in dating multiple. No, just talking and going on a date yeah, but with someone. Still is in love. In love. Maybe go with the keeper, the one that you'd want to... Because you've got to make a decision. Oh, God. See, I'm thinking if there's two types, there's two people you're in love with, there's two types. There's maybe the, like, lust... Yeah. Fun, in the moment, having so much fun with them on dates. And then there's the one that you'd rather take Stay, home to your yeah. parents. I think it needs a test of something, yeah. but I don't know what. Yeah, think of maybe like even who's the one that's going to be by your side during hard times, the one that you want to open up to more, the one that you... What if this is the equal thing? I don't right? know, I can't, oh. surely not. How have you got yourself into this position? Good luck. Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Going on to it. We have no advice for this one. I'm a bridesmaid for my best friend. The hen and wedding is costing me a thousand pounds, but I barely even see her anymore. Only twice in the last seven months. Oh. Do I confront her slash not go to the wedding? What do I do? Mm -hmm. I feel like that feels like a, maybe a one-sided friendship. Yeah. The the one the bride to be who's asking you to be a bridesmaid. There's a good chance that she really values your friendship, even if you've not seen each other. But you're just a bit like. Or no. maybe she's just going with it because she thinks she should. Yeah, maybe. I don't think there's any harm with cutting friends out of your life if you feel like they yeah, don't bring it around to your life. wedding is so awkward, isn't it? I'd stick with it. I'd still be the bridesmaid, I think. You'd still, yeah, yeah I think I would. I, I, th I would say go along with it. Because imagine if you did then rekindle something in the future and mm. you'll always look back and go, God, I didn't even I know wish I'd go to your wedding. That. I'd say stick but with it now. a bridesmaid and she's saying it's costing her yeah. a lot. The that cost is thing expense. is always going to be a challenge in any kind of hen wedding situation. If people have a it's wedding awkward, abroad, it's like, it? are they paying for you to go? Are you going to yeah, have to? Yeah, I think it's walk awkward. Out? So I feel like brides should be understanding if you can't afford yeah, to go think, or to do anything. I think maybe kind of if you are reluctant, maybe play it more from that angle and just be like the financial. Yeah, side. because I think if she's not very understanding of that. Then, then that's how much not a good friendship. friend. Like yeah. for me, I think that's a really big. It's a big part of your life, mm. your finances and being understanding about other people's and yeah, because not everyone is on the same financial. No, level. of course, course not. And she can't expect that from you. Mm. I, agree. I think that's a big expense, though. No matter how much money you have, pounds. yeah, that's a big expense. It's like if people are wanting somebody, to somebody or something. I'm yeah, for her to think that you are willing to pay that, I wouldn't want. I would I feel guilty. Want, yeah, yeah. I feel guilty about that. I so, would agree. Yeah, maybe it's in her off. Hit hen dues. You've got all sort of budgets. Yeah. I would stick with it. So there you go, you've got two different answers. Oh, I'd, no, stick, I, I'd stick I, with the wedding, no regrets. Me. Knowing me, I'd just suck it up and go to yeah. the wedding and pay it and be regretful. With no sentiment attached, like you're telling yourself. You're just doing it because- You're selfish, but you're your own person. And if you don't, if that's a lot of money for you to fork out for someone that you're not really that friendship with, friendly and with. And you think will not be in the future. Yeah, that is true. If you if you genuinely don't see a future with the friendship, then mm. why are you spending mm. that amount of money and time and energy? Anyway, next. My first boyfriend won't unfollow his ex on Instagram. Why? Really? I follow all my exes. Not on Instagram, on Facebook, I'm still friends with them. Why is she wanting him to unfollow her? And why has he not? To, yeah, if you ask as a respect, if... Tom was to, because I just don't even go on Facebook, but I'm no, friends no, with them. But if Tom was uncomfortable, yeah, exactly. I would unfollow them. I'd exactly. delete because they are never going to be in my life again. So mm. why wouldn't I? Yeah. Unless that person is like in a big 
group with them and see them all yes, the time. Yes, and it's, it's more like a friend and friendship together, group, Then yeah. I understand that because that would be awkward. Yes. But if it's just this, someone yeah. they won't see again, I think... Yeah. But why are you at the point where you're asking him to unfold? Yeah, I, I would say if it's your first boyfriend and you're not sure and it makes you feel a bit uncomfortable, firstly, your feelings are valid. But secondly, I just... I, if you, if you, you if feel trust him, untrustworthy. Yeah, if you trust mm. him, then why would you be worried Bothered about, about that? it because she's just at the end of the day still an in extra contact, follow on Instagram. Actively, but yeah, a follow is a follow, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I follow all sorts of random people that I don't yeah. even see their content, whatever they post. Saying, I want a brand new wardrobe slash new style, but don't have a huge budget. Okay, this is not just similar to yeah. the other question. Um, I'd say always stick to classic pieces. Classics, capsule, time. Yeah, because you don't match. have to have a lot of pieces to mix and match, and that's what that has, that whole premises that's yeah. like what capsule small amount mix and match everything is the point pretty that much. you can mix and match them and also think about your accessories it could keep it very very basic with clothes like even a white t-shirt black trousers looks really great together but think yeah. about your accessories and how you can maybe add something a bit more even switch it up with a -led. red lip or something yeah yeah um you don't have to go for like some a earrings like piece. inexpensive earrings like mm. or Zara. a belt a belt could transform that look or even just like some chunky sandals you don't have to yeah. buy expensive ones They're yeah really affordable high street versions of yeah. those that you can just like totally change the look of and that's i feel like that's what i do with my style as well just yeah kind of my maybe accessories first, are where i and first put a call to maybe just call out your wardrobe just mm. have a good detox of everything that doesn't bring you that same joy yeah get rid of that so that you know what you've got in your wardrobe and I'm very much classic timeless mm -hmm. capsule anyway so I'm like mix and match the neutrals yeah and you're exactly good. you don't need a huge budget no you actually you really don't I think once you've got the mm. core pieces I think you'll surprise yourself just try things on as well mm. I think that's kind of going back to the other point is that a lot of people don't take the time out to actually experiment in the wardrobe and create new looks and like take that time. You might just be getting dressed in the morning and always yeah. go to the exact same outfit. Yeah. So actually taking the time to look in your own wardrobe and try on different combinations. They might not always work, but take pictures of them um, and you'll probably find something new out of what you've already got. Yeah. Spend money on a wedding or save for a deposit for a bigger house. Oh. I feel like we're gonna both agree on this. You're if, if you say had house. to yeah. Yeah. I think it depends on many factors mm. though. I think it's one of those I think it depends if you if you're adamant on getting married, really, that's a big yeah, part what's of your life. Your priority I personally this person just think doesn't have I get more joy out of a home than one day. Yeah. Celebrating I think wedding. the thing now is that weddings are so big and so yeah, they don't expensive. Have to be, though. But you don't. Yeah, you could do a wedding which really would be intimate, lovely. Small. Doesn't yeah, have you to be don't the, have to pay big. for a really extravagant, elaborate venue. I think if anything, that's not as nice as something a bit more low key. So maybe you don't have to compromise at all. Maybe you can do both, but in slightly different yeah. ways. So if you were engaged to be married and you're also searching for a house That's so traditional and someone gives you ten thousand pounds okay but you have to only put it in one of those options oh oh deposit for a house or the wedding right now probably a deposit yeah mm. so it's timing of your life and yeah, what's important to you in the depend. moment yeah exactly yeah. mother-in-law tries to compete with me <gasps> i just want to be her friend oh <laughs> um oh well, I think take that as a compliment <laughs> that she thinks yeah. you're a competition, but she shouldn't think that. That's no. a bit odd. That, that's probably competition in time for uh, having time with her son and your boyfriend. Or daughter. Yeah. But it's the time, isn't it? That's what you're kind of like yeah. fighting for. The fighting for the time, yeah. the attention, who's most valued. Yeah. Whereas it shouldn't be a competition though, should it? I mean, no, I think you maybe need to be the bigger person I agree. and kind of, because it sounds like she's not and put her at ease yeah. um, in some way. Like maybe kind of, kind of giving them time, whatever it is she's competing for, 
give it to give her. Give it to her. Allow, because that, at the end of the they, day. They are blood. Yeah, at the end of the day, you're, you always know you've been the bigger person. Yeah. How to manage chores slash housework split between you and your partner. How do you do it? Do you just naturally so do it's whatever? natural or? ability. <laughs> natural. We, ha we have cook. a rule. We have a natural. You have yeah. a rule. Yeah. Tom cooks. Yeah. So, so I clean. clean. Yeah, same. But then also in terms of like the actual house stuff. We've Tom, got rooms Tom's quite we an untidy. But Tom will keep his space tidy. I keep my space tidy. But the shared space, I about clean. That? And Tom yeah. drives us. That's our role. What do you mean? Drives it. If we're going on a long journey or going anywhere, Tom's Tim, the designated driver. Tim provides driver. you in that anyway, so I wouldn't yeah, just exactly. call that a job. Well, that's, that's, that's oh no, Tom would share the journey. He does the could. bins. Oh god, even I do the bins. We, I, I, I just in. remember the bins. Ironing? Ironing. Washing. To be fair, yeah, no, we do our own washing. Do we? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, very, yeah, sometimes we do. No, we because if ever we've got a load of washing to go on, it's like I've got a full load mm. and he's got a full load. So we just so do you our just own do it separate, yeah. yeah. But if he had just a couple of bits to throw in, I'd yeah. just throw them in I mine. just feel like, yeah, Tim's pretty good at cleaning actually. Yeah. Cleans, I, I would do more like dusting and things like that, but yeah. I don't think he values Tim's Okay. <laughs> I love a good dust. I do. Oh, What's your cool. favourite housework chore? Oh, I like this one. Um, I'm really enjoying doing the washing at the minute and I feel like no one ever likes doing the washing. That's always the one that people No, I dread. know where you're coming from because it when you've just put washing it and you're like, oh, I think for me it's the utility. The fact that yeah, I've now got, got a, nice, a space a so nice I can hang out clothes and it's away from the rest of the house. That I'm enjoying nice. the space. That's yeah. why I like it. I like cleaning the kitchen. Yeah, kitchen's a good one. I hate it the makes bathroom. you feel. I hate the bathroom. Bathroom's, bathroom's my the worst. worst. I've been making Tim do all the bathroom. I hate the bathroom. Do you mind that, like the downstairs toilet? Just like yeah, because that's a not toilet a, and it's sink. not a wet space. But no, I mm. hate the bathroom. So okay. I like the kitchen. Yeah, I I would say kitchen's Spritz better. Spritz. Than, yeah. <laughs> anyway, how to make? Oh, this one I was talking to you about, about earlier. How to make new friends slash meet new people oh, with yeah. similar interests. I guess that's the thing, like with similar interests, maybe find a hobby that you... Mm, oh, that's, that's such really like a box standard answer yeah, though. No. But I think, I just think it is really hard. It is, it is hard. The older you get, I think the harder it gets. Unless Especially, if you maybe are, are a soon to be first time mum, I think there's quite a lot of mum communities, communities of new mums And like come schools together. as well, nurseries, yeah. you end up meeting people through children, don't you? But like, I think a lot of people meet through work, don't they? Yeah, that's how we met, I guess. That's how we met. But it is hard, like, I do find it hard because outside of this work, unless I force myself to go to an event or to meet up with somebody that I've never met before, which I have done, mm -hmm. it's hard. Sometimes you do just have to force yourself, but then if, we, if I didn't have that common connection, how would I find somebody to force myself? Yeah, we, we work and live on a, in a space online where so we, we can, can meet people we online. We can meet people and then be like, oh, would you like to meet up for a coffee? And then that's yeah. how I end up meeting people. I think there is actually a Facebook group of some kind of like girl gang. Do you remember I worked with that um, company as well? Bumble. Yeah, Bumble. Yeah, I did. have a friendship. And a friend. This is not just dating online. Do they I think, do? yeah, Bumble, well, it's Bumble Business, Business. Bumble Friends and Bumble, Bumble. Dating. And then I think Facebook have groups of like, I think, I'm sure there's one called like girl gang or something with thousands of people in. So within an area. You can meet up yeah. with people. Or get a dog. There's so many people I talk that to on a dog That is true, walk. yeah. Same. Isn't that funny? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. You meet because yeah. you both have a dog. If this person goes to work, I think you can find friends within work. But within maybe, work. maybe you don't expect to be friends with them because I think that's the beauty yeah. of work, isn't it? Is that you come across people like I used to be friends with people who are in like 50s and 60s yeah. in my old work and we used to go out for meals together, like a few of us in a mm. group and I was like... 20 but still but, but you end happy, up being yeah. friends with them and and you kind of it gives you a new perspective so maybe be open to different types of yeah people. and also don't i would say don't worry about feeling like oh, so is it a bit weird like because mm. actually everyone's in the same boat everyone's got maybe older friends mm. but maybe like they've grown apart from their older friends yeah. so not everyone has friends from childhood no that have continued through because that was always my concern it's like oh, but everyone's already got their childhood yeah. friendship groups but i only have a few friends exactly so I've grown up with them. it's always still space oh yeah always couple more left 
This is not very quick fire. I know. Well, we're this is like 20 25 minutes, in. minutes long. I really want to start a YouTube channel, but feel it's too competitive. And then there was another one saying, I want to quit my job and set up my own business, but scared and don't know where to start. So definitely fire. don't quit your job before you start the business. Agreed. You have to, like, I feel like everybody Part says this. Part-time venture. You have to, yeah, start off, find the out. I'm really reading a really good book, actually. Mm. Let me find it. This is very motivational. Did I tell you that Wonderland book is in TK Maxx? Okay. That no, Annie. That one. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, I saw it in TK Maxx the other day. It's called Power, Power Hour. Hour. Power Hour. Um, by Adrian Herbert. Really motivational. And basically, the concept is, of it is you need to get up an hour earlier. Well, yeah. Because she says basically all her kind of everything she's done and achieved started off sort of thing this is a very basic summary by getting up at like 5 a.m yeah but not, not compromising it. on you sleep like you go to sleep a bit early effort, but don't you you have to most, force yourself most people in this industry we, we've all had a kind of part-time transition we've not yeah. just all of a sudden one day said i want to do this and this is my income no i think very few people can can do yeah. that to go to go so big I enough think, over yeah there. definitely don't definitely start the business yeah and you just have to hustle you just for have a while. to unfortunately really work give up hard weekends and evenings but that's whereby if, if you're even an hour in the morning one yeah, power hour really. in the morning think of how like your brain your brain is so active in the morning compared to yeah. late at night or mine is anyway yeah mine is too but that one hour of focused work before yeah. you go to work Obviously, seven everything's hours a week. different. People do shift work and think things. Thirty like hours it, a month. The yeah, that's what she says. It soon adds book. up. You need to read the book. I have back to weddings. I have two weddings on the same day. This is the last one. So I've got two weddings on the same day. The my boss, who I've already said yes to first, and my cousin. But my boss is already mentioning that she's angry about dropouts. But if she oh, like not could, yeah, like numbers and stuff. Oh dear. Mm. It depends how close you are with your cousin. If your cousin is your that. brother or sister. Yeah, like very close relatives. Your boss has got to understand. Um, it I is think... your boss at the end of the day. It's like an employee, isn't it? It's not It's not blood. Cousin is family. And I'm sure you're Unless you're a really understand. estranged cousin and you're going to be with your boss if you know you're going to work there for years yeah. and years and years and years. And, and you're friends you with your boss. You could get that relationship with your boss to the point where by You're very close. You're close, yeah. Because that's not unheard of. But I think really straight away I would say go cousin, with the cousin and, and just apologise to the boss and say... It's sod slot. But it is awkward that they're but already say yes, saying I stuff know. about... Drop yeah, outs. that makes it, but that makes it uncomfortable, doesn't it? Yeah, but You'd they don't know that you're going to drop out. I know. Yeah, about oh, that. I agree with you. However, I'm dropping out. I've seen a stop fiddling with my hair. Fiddled with my hair too much. Oh, I? Is it going to be an edit cut out? I have to cut out my hair fiddle. <laughs> well, that was fun. I'm going to do another one of these. In yeah, the that was really fun. Oh, I'm not even showing my outfit today. I'm wearing Lydia's dress, the one that um, she wore to the event. I'm like winter, and you yeah, wore a dress you're like late. autumn. And You're I'm, in the I'm Italian lake. lover as well. Um, yeah, what a shame that we didn't get to go to London, but never mind. We've had a good day. We've made the most anyway. of a cancelled trip. <laughs> we'll rearrange. We'll rearrange and we'll vlog it then. But yeah, I think I'm just going to head back and get in your comfy clothes. Get in my comfies, make puff hair up, puppy cuddles. Aww. I can't believe what he's so tired. Oh, he's exhausted. Shall I pick him up? That is literally. Um, Daycare. Daycare wipes them out, doesn't Not it? Not even daycare, morning care. Oh, yeah, look at you. Oh, that's so cute. I can't wear black around Barney. Oh, yeah. Oh, you so cute. He's smelly. He's no smelly. Say I'm a dog, Mum. They do always smell after doggy daycare. Do you find that? The mix in midnight. I know. I think I don't think he smells that. I think it's like a little, little baby. Little baby. Cutie pie. I'm gonna do a big yawn in a minute. Mm. Barney, can't you? No. Poor Barney. Oh, <gasps> Mary I knew it! I knew it! I did! From 
one fur baby to another fur baby. You can definitely smell Ossie on me, can't you? Oh, is that a good neck scrunch? <laughs> Were you a good boy for daddy? Yeah, always. Oh. So I am home sweet home after what was a slightly different trip to what I thought today, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog nonetheless. I'm tempted seeing as though I've got makeup and hair and dress. I even asked Tom if he fancies going out for dinner tonight, but um, we did actually go to the cinema the other night to watch Where the Crawdads Sing. Highly recommend. I did buy the book just beforehand, read through it in two days, just to get it read so that I could watch the movie having read the book. Not cinema date night tonight, but maybe we could go out for some food somewhere. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. Do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you once again to Ritual for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check it out via the link in my description box and use that discount code where you can save money. Have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you end up doing. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.